Hello everybody, welcome to Charlesonia News Network. Today, we are yet again interviewing Luke Prod. Um, this is what our fourth or fifth interview with him. We love talking to Luke Prod. he's always got some good stuff to say. But uh, we're here today at New Lopat, his uh, new area. That's kind of really nice. And while we're doing this, we're actually going to take a look around. Actually, I'd like for you to give us a tour before we begin anything. And of course, introduce yourself. All right, so um, this right here was the, okay, the, I am Luke Prod 1861, <laughs> I run Lopad. Um, I've run Lopad since season seven, um, almost four years now. And it's come to be a really, really great faction. So, yeah. Um, so, as you can see here, this was actually the first building made here at New Lopad. Or, should I say New Galvin now. Uh, this is the first building. It's the Lopad Palace. <laughs> um, if you come in here, you can see the carpet is decorated with Lopad flags, Lopad colors. Up here, this um, area is un under construction, but once done, it's going to be a massive courtyard with fountains, meeting area. My brother crashed. What is that? What? The watermelon flag over there. What? Oh, that's Xavier's thing. Oh. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, come this way. So we are. We have some, these little buildings, like homes. We're kind of going for a more urban look with these houses right up next to each other on the street. It looks really good. That uh, andesite cobblestone building right there, that's going to be a store. It's going to have vending machines. Thank you. Um, this mud brick building and that cobble building down there, those two are both apartments. I see that. That looks um, cool. Over here, we have a couple homes. This actually, we got Fintia Fried Chicken Restaurant right here. Oh. Yeah. Two stories tall. <laughs> it's a five star restaurant. <laughs> it looks nice. Um, Everything looks so nice here. This is Checkerton Tower. There's oh. also the bank for Lopez. Dang. Under construction. This over here is something I created. It's supposed to be the Lopad Treasury. It's under construction. But once finished, I'd like to find a way to store stuff in here without getting stolen. But I, I don't know. You can do an auto sorter. Yeah. Yeah, that would work well. Yeah, that's all we have so far. Yeah, that's, it's a lot. You say that that's all we have. That's This is a ton. <laughs> this is a, a lot of stuff. And it's all up to... Uh, uh, what, what do you call it? A um, a code, almost like a a standard. Yes, yeah. it's up to standard with really, itself. So. Mm -hmm. That's really good. But I guess we should get into the video now. Let's let's get this in the background. There's this little city street here, beautiful place. Um, we got yeah. Jagged Cake and, and Dave here just patrolling, uh, city <laughs> guards. So um, you know, the war has ended. Just flat out. Yeah. This is gonna be in the thumbnail. Your response. So just. Think about it. This is this is gonna be the thumbnail. This is gonna be really important, and more impo most importantly, make it short. Okay. <laughs> so, what okay. do you think about the war over? What's your reaction? The war is over. What's your, oh my gosh? Donald Trump. Is that Donald Trump? <laughs> Donald Trump, my hero. <laughs> uh, anyway, the war is over. Your opinions. Um. My opinion out of the war so, is that the, it, it was a terrible war for us. There we go. Yes, it was a, it's a terrible war. It was terrible for us. It started over this dispute over boats and spawn opening. We came went into this righteous crusade against the, the, the Iron Beast was a server that uh, the demon was holding us under their thumb and by the time it had ended we had lost two thirds of all territory that we had before the war which is just a crushing blow overall but I mean clearly you guys aren't down and out 
you know, I mentioned yep. earlier in uh, one of the two interviews with either Dave or Slack, both in the description, by the way, um, you know, perseverance and not giving up is a key trait of success. And I mean, look at this. Not only yeah. have you built back as if nothing happened, but you've built back better. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like Joe Biden. I mean, look <laughs> at this. This is leagues better than Lopez Island. Yeah. I mean, you took what would be a crushing defeat and turned mm -hmm. it into a positive. We can rebuild now. We can keep things up to a standard like this. Yep. I mean, that's, a, that's admirable. And I feel like there's so much hate. There's so much hate it's from the other side of the aisle for Luke Pratt when there really shouldn't be. Yeah. You know, what do you have to say to the haters? I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I always try to uh, act. Um, I, I know how it is to lose a war. Um, I've lost quite a few of my yeah. time here. And I always try to hear out the other side. Maybe if I don't hear out the other side, I want to give them a chance for time. You know, the war, we said a bunch of stuff, but let's end it. Let's be friends. And I've always tried to do that. I've always tried to mend things up, especially when Lopez started winning. That's really when I started to do it. And, and if you look at, at the people Lopez defeated, he had Pete Shire, which, which we took, but nobody's going to get mad at us for that <laughs> since, you know. They're evil. Then we, had, <laughs> then we had Mephisto. We took Mephisto. Look, if we had not took Mephisto and brought Drew in as governor, if we had not done that, we would not, Mephisto, Swagtopia, whatever, it would not be brought up today. No one would even think about it. We took it from this, this, these three or four houses, made this huge, important city. It's still going on today, even under AFFS control. And we really did them a favor, by all accounts. Um, I think Drew would even say so. Uh, and there's so much we could have done. We could have said, you know what, you, because people forget, Drew, he blew up Lopez. I Perfect. think um, just a month before. He swag check. Yeah, he did. He was one of the persons who blew it up. He blew it up. And our, our, our intense punishment was, you know what, how about, how about you join us? We'll fix up your city. And even then, uh, when the coalition took Mephisto, who did we give it back? Who did we give governorship back to? We gave it to Drew. And he went in there. You remember correctly who the aberration was spread against Drew. And if it had just been Drew fighting alone, you're pretty sure he would have lost. Yeah. So we really helped them out there. A lot of people forget that. And then you move on. Then we have the coalition more. Very misunderstood. I remember, I'm not going to say names, but certain Charles O'Neill leader said in one of his speeches that you know Lopez just loves declaring war we declared war on OSBR and um shoot Fredistan and I couldn't help but think that Charles O'Neill was also in that war with us um <laughs> it was only until we declared war on Duramus uh, oh Lopez this is this and this and this and people really misunderstand the, the reason why we went to war with the Ramis. It wasn't because we're evil or they made a joke about low <laughs> It was, we had a long history at that point with Zebdi and Enzo. They had helped us out a couple of seasons prior, but in the months leading up to the Coalition War, they they did go around on a few occasions and kill low guys, take all their stuff. The most famous occasion I can remember is they went and killed Jason and Xavier, and they just took all their stuff. I'm not sure who was right and wrong in that situation, but they didn't care to give any explanation for themselves. They said, oh, too bad. And, you know, I hate to... And I was very mad about that, and I said, yeah, go so, ahead. Well, you cut off me, so I thought you were done, but I guess I got So, I hate to get, you know on a personal level your opinion on people if you don't want to do that then it's fine but when you compare post coalition war zevdi to current zevdi what's 
Has anything changed? He's he's a lot better. I, I I would say something about XO two, but he's like gone. So yeah, I don't. Zebdi he's he's come into this role as a big, big time leader, and I think he's all the better for it. Oh. But I just hate that a lot of the reason this war happens because of the hatred and not even hatred, just a grudge he held that we beat him in the war. It wasn't because if you analyze it, it wasn't that the surrender terms were harsh. They had ample money to pay for their war debt plus OSBRs and have some left over. And that was their only thing that happened in that entire war. And people forget they blew up Blocktopia during that same war. And all we asked was five hundred dollars. And now, well, me and Zed, Zedney's a good guy, but I just I can't just understand how he sees me do that. Just these easy surrender terms, pretty much just these you know, merciful surrender terms, and then turn around. Return the favor of what he's done to Lopat and, and make smug comments like, Oh well, we're we're gonna take Alexandria too. We're just we're just feeling humble. Like I don't see how those two events can coexist. And I I don't know. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if you heard the news, there was an AFFS meeting today, massive meeting. Um, he was elected uh, president of the new AFFS nation for this month. Yeah. And you know, I don't. I again, I don't know if you heard about it, but what do you think about the AFFS becoming its own nation now? So it's one faction. No, um, it's kind of like the UE. Oh. Well. I don't know. Um. <laughs> I have none of the best experiences with the AFFS. I, I'll say this, uh, um, if they just left us alone, I guess that we'd be on good terms. And I'm glad that they're expanding what they started, making a little alliance more formal, electing a president. That's good. I, I like to see that stuff happen, but just, on the other hand, every three days, and visited by the, the death squadron <laughs> won five hundred dollars. I don't like three days. Every three days. They told you three days. Yeah. It's supposed to be a week. No, it's every three days I gotta get five hundred. We'll give that a chance. Okay. That's unreasonable. Anyway, um You know, I, I think I asked Dave earlier. Alright, you know what? Well, we'll go to this first, since it's, you know, top at hand. Do you think there's any mending of the, just that divide between the AFFS and Lopet? There very well could be. I'll say this. If the war had ended, and the AFFS had just took what they set out to take, Blacktopia, Fintia, maybe they kept a couple other things, I think we could have mended our relationship and just been okay. But it's just we're left in such a bitter state you know, that they just took so much and they didn't offer to themselves, they didn't initiate any like, okay, let's be friends. But even then, even if they come to us, you know, and say, let's be friends, I don't know how we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to reconcile that with the fact that they took so, so much from us. I don't know. Yeah. And so, so you're saying like if you could get stuff like Port Dankus back, there'd be a better chance at reconciliation. Yeah. I just want to some gesture that like they just don't view us as like sit frad pad like this just <laughs> silly faction just lost every battle and it's not even the biggest part. It's just they, when they took stuff in the war, 
it's not like, okay, we're going to occupy this. When the war ends, we'll give it back. No, it's like, okay, we, we occupied this territory. Try time to... Delocatification the entire and that's great. <laughs> <laughs> right or wrong, wrong, but right or wrong, I would have never done anything like that. I think a lot of people can see that I would have never ever done anything like that. It makes me sad they didn't tell us. And I don't really know what's being done with Port Dankus, it wasn't. A lot was I know what's being done. What? So, there was originally a deal that was uh, made between me and Jar and Mickey, but upon uh, recent events, there was uh, it's, it's been brought up to me that it's no longer being returned. Like that was one of the things that uh, I was told would happen if I surrendered after Blocktopia. Um, Poor Dankus might be returned to me, and Mickey was on board with it. Uh, Jar was definitely on board with it, because he's a really nice guy. But there was a lot of AFFS in interference in the decision to uh, have it returned to me, not Lopad, but to Dankus, its uh, rightful owner. And well, I'm not familiar well, with any conversation. Original owner, sorry. Original. It was kind of an unofficial plan to begin with. I don't. That's confusing. Yeah, but um, it was he was even said um, by uh, uh, El Tony because we talked to him the other day. They did, they don't have any plans for it's a ghost town, and there's it's far it's pretty far away from Omega Craft and the people who own it, so they don't really have any use for it. it it's really just a trophy more than it's anything else. For yeah. the key, I'm sure it's that, you know. Zevdi's the president, right, or the lord right now. I'm sure for the the right price, it could be regained. Not even I remember price, uh, we like, tried to negotiate that with Exo, and he said five hundred million dollars. <laughs> well, you say the right price. We're already paying them seven thousand yeah, dollars, and to get something that's a burden to them, we have to pay for that too. It's not fair, and it's not any attempt with to. The it's not any intent whatsoever to resolve the relationship. If you're going to make us pay five thousand, and then say, "Well, if you want, if you want some other stuff, you have you got to pay for that too." Yeah, I'm sure something could be come up with eventually. Um, because the way the leadership thing is set up, we're probably going to have it to where one person can only be president once, and then someone else has to be it. Then they can be elected again. So. No matter what, someone else will be at the head of it next month if Zebdi is yep. not up for um, the offer, whatever that might be. But, um, you know, long story short, AFFS, no pad relation is still kind of iffy. They're still pretty iffy. But uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that brings us to um, uh, someone who's currently in the AFFS, as far as I am aware. Easton Burton and the Mafia, a spawn-based mm. uh, faction. What do you think about them? I think the Mafia, it is a group of people. They go around, they get their entertainment from messing with other people. They recently had this run-in with Daryl the Ant, which I find ironic because Daryl and Easton both have a history of acting. They both go around and kill people. <laughs> they just hate each other. <laughs> side note but I don't like the mafia I think they go around doing all this stuff expecting zero repercussion the other day they're just sitting at low pad just causing trouble like they, they weren't killing anybody they are messing with us and I didn't like I couldn't do anything I didn't have any guns thank you wait for this but I don't know what I should have I could have done and I'm glad to see for better or worse that the uh, Inactivity Alliance is making a move against them. Honestly, when I look at the Inactivity Alliance, I think they have a pretty good chance. Mm -hmm. Easton is definitely not taking this serious. Um, not I, at all. I went over there today to look at their ship so I can get it copied, since I won't be here tomorrow. Um, and it, it's a, it's another box. It's 
Uh, sorry, Nether. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Obsidian Box. That's well, gonna be terrible for I the battle. Well, well, I don't know anymore, uh, since unfortunately cannons got both of the day before the battle. Wonderful. So it, it may end up holding up pretty well. I don't know. Naval warfare just changed incredibly because one guy wouldn't update his damn mod. But uh, yeah, that's that's terrible in my opinion. Um, oh. But I look at the inactivity alliance, and you call them the inactivity alliance, quote unquote. I did. I come with that name. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean they they're actually trying. I mean th they're building a an actual warship. It looks cool from what I've seen so far. Fred is. I mean, um, and I when the war first broke out, I thought. Okay, they gathered Galeria, they have a chance, but when the Galeria pulled out, I'm like, okay, no. Um, I think they still it's do. It's over for them. I mean, from what I can but, tell, it's just mm -hmm. gonna be Silica and Easton. Maybe Finkel. Well, I, I was gonna add to that, when I saw that they are actually getting on in the little group chat saying, okay, we should do this or this at the battle. I, they have just as much of a chance as Easton does. Yeah. Ethan's not taking it seriously. And uh, also, do you think that Agleria might get back involved if the Alliance can show that they're capable of winning? Probably. Um, I think Jason has cold feet because of what he thinks the AFFS will do if he goes against one of their own. But um, I think that issue is going to clear up soon. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Um, and, I mean, if these attacks continue on Lopad, do you have a message for the, the Mafia? I'm just going to declare war. I thought about um, I thought about the fact that Easton, he is terrible at planning out stuff. And that Lopad is still very much as 10 players that they could get on for a battle. Yeah. And I know that if Lopez got involved, the Glarium can involved and just be this snowball effect. And the Lopi League. The, Lo the Lopez League and Taliban get involved, but Easton wouldn't stand a chance, is what I'm saying. So please, for your own sake, don't come around and mess with Lopez and steal from Glowpad and kill a patty. Yep. It's so the best thing he can do is just quit while he can. Yeah. And, um, you know, at the very beginning we were talking about new Lopad and all that. I think a lot of people would really like to get your input on what the plan for Lopad is going forward. Plan for Lopad is to Center ourselves in this sector called the uh, patio as best we can. In several cities, we're gonna have new Flocktopia, new Fintia, new Gal. Um, we're gonna have Mitchdale. We're gonna have these big industrial, goofy farms. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have it connected all by roads and bridges. You should make the farms look nice. You can put yeah, a shell around them. Yeah, my plan was we were going to build a factory building and just put the farm in there. Yeah. So we could do that. I think that's what we will do, yeah. Um, but the overall plan for Lopad is just to skin ourselves close to each other. Each city actually made it a rule. There can't be any new city made. It's not a thousand blocks from another. And it's, that's what we've been doing. I know the initial plan was to make it to where everyone had a path to their city, but has that been started yet or no? It hasn't been started because some of the cities haven't taken off yet. Mm. I'm waiting for them to get a little more developed. Like New Blacktopia, uh, they got around to flattening stuff. So there's no, no buildings there, so I want to give it time to make stuff. What happened to Jagged Cake? He's black. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you race like if you're black or Chinese. <laughs> race swap for the trials. <laughs> Jagged, take that off. That's blackface, bro. That's not cool. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, Jim. Blackface and Lopad? 
Not a Black chance. Blackface. <laughs> Easy way to get shot, Jerry. <laughs> Uh, you're just probably gone, so let's get your opinion on the new guns. Show us one of them. Show, your, show us your favorite gun. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite would probably be this right here. Oh. Yeah. Give us a shot real quick. Thank you. I don't have a bullet. I can show you what it looks like when you're aiming it, though. So. Oh, he got you, though. Oh. Sweet. See what Load it up, brother. You didn't load it all the way. Yeah. Oh. oh. Nice. Nice. He hitting the target. Yes, sir. Oh, nice fail. Oh, shoot. But as you can see, shoots every time. Yes, sir. What kind of so, effect do you think this will have on Warfare? Good effect. I think it will balance out PvP more. Wars won't be decided by how fast you can move your mouse and click and stuff. Like a savage. Like me. I, 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 it's just, I hate it. And I blame the, the loss in the last book on this. Just the fact that these people can have it no matter what you do, no matter how you prepare these people, when you go head to head, and just run around you, click real fast, and just all your effort is worthless. I'm kind of bummed out that the cannons mod is broken, um, because that was like my go-to thing, like, just get high and shoot them with the cannon. But you can't yeah. really do that anymore. Hopefully I can figure out a way to fix it myself, because I doubt that mod author is going to fix it. Um, but yeah. Do you have yep. any solutions for the PvP combat? Issue. Um, over the next few months, Lopez is going to be a bit. It's going to be training its own people to combat it. I don't want to make them PvP lords. Um, I don't like it personally. I don't like PvP personally. And it's fun to shoot to play, but when you're going up against these people, they're just so insane with it. It's not as fun. So. We're just gonna train them to combat the PvP and the life these lords have. So like for example, cannons. Nobody's utilized cannons. Oh shoot. <laughs> They're not on the server. But uh <laughs> the guns and stuff, uh, they need to know how they work. You can't just give somebody a gun and expect them to just be able to hit moving targets easily. There's more to it than so just train people not to become pvp boards but the just the best way to combat that yeah so yeah i mean is there anything else that you would like to bring up to win there? um this is just a public message to the afs that i i would be willing to end our a relationship i know we're not the best friends right now um but I, I, I'm cooperating and giving them money. Maybe if we see something from the AFFS side that they have some goodwill towards us, something could happen. So I just want to extend that out to all the AFFS leaders. Now, a message from our sponsors. I think I'm just going to clip in the clip from the last video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um,. So yeah, thank you, Mr. Prod, for joining us today. Uh, best of luck to you with rebuilding Lopad. You're doing a really good job so far. Everyone involved is doing a really good job. Um, thank you all for watching. Well, please to me. Goodbye. Praise God. <laughs>